freedom just like the waving flag so wave your flag so wave your flag now wave your flag
Further member statements. The member from Windsor West. Thank you, Speaker. It's my uh, pleasure to stand in the House today to talk about a young lady. Um, now, I know it's not usually polite to talk about women's ages, but I'm going to guess that Maya is probably about 11 years old, and she's quite an exceptional young lady. Uh, Maya McHale is the founder of Maya's Friends, a group of 22 young girls, and occasionally they have a young fella or two that come out and help, uh, who have raised funds to help those in need in my riding of Windsor West, as well as across all of Windsor and Essex County. As a result of their yearly signature fundraising event, Maya's Lemonade Stand, Maya and her friends raised $3,288, as well as collecting hundreds of cans of food. They have donated the, the food and the, uh, the, uh, the canned goods and the money that they collected to the Downtown Mission, the Salvation Army, and the, and the Windsor Youth Centre, which we lovingly refer to as the WIC. Um, they all benefit from the fundraising efforts and the generosity of Maya's friends. Also notable is the partnership between Maya's team and the Real Canadian Superstore. The RCSS generally donate, or generously donate gift cards and food items at cost in order to maximize the efforts of Maya's friends and their number of low-income uh, or homeless residents of Windsor and Essex County. It is with great pride that I stand in the legislature and thank Maya and her team of friends for their continued efforts to make life a little bit easier for those living in poverty. Thank you. in and around our region. Other local charities also got a bit of help today. Maya's friends gave food to a few charities from money they raised earlier this summer. This is the third year Maya, her friends and family have been selling lemonade and collecting donations to help feed the hungry in Windsor. With the money we bought canned foods and we're here to drop them off at the Salvation Army and the Mission for the people to actually come and and get them to for their families to help. And just a little more specifically, the stand brought in more than thirty-two hundred dollars. 